Hello everybody, my name is Siobhan Robotnik, and welcome to Faust's Albatron? I, I really don't want to say this. <sighs> Should have learned how to fucking speak German a little better. But, um, yeah, so I found this game because somebody followed me on one of my roleplay blogs, and they were, their muse was, I guess, the main character from this game. So, um, let's see how this goes. Already off to such a great start. Hmm. Nothing right now. Is there supposed to be something else happening? Am I missing something here? I can't tell if there's supposed to be something happening. Because I can't... Do anything. Uh, hold on, let me just start the game back up, I guess. It did say it needed to do so, like install some stuff. I don't think. Everything finished downloading. Setting one zero, one two. Perhaps slightly chillier in the San Fernando. Um, again, you show yourselves. You waving forms revealed, as you once were, to clouded vision. Shall I attempt to hold you fast once more? Hearts willing to still, willing still to suffer that illusion. Oh, lovely hours, those slipped from me and lost. They can no longer hear this latest song. I bring my verses to the unknown throng. My heart's made anxious even by their clapping. A shudder takes me, tear on tear, entire, the film heart feels weakened and remote. What I possess is far away from me, and what is gone becomes reality. Goth boss. Goth? Okay, it looks like ghost. Today is Heinrich Franz, Franz's funeral. Despite how the sign read, even she wasn't sure if that was his real name. So let's put it this way. Today is Daddy's funeral. There are more people than I thought. Aunt reveals traces of annoyance beneath her veil. So sleepy, the girl thought. When must we, we get up to face such a dreary day? Chatter premented the sea of black suits of which she recognized only a few. A few in the... Uh, 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 <laughs> reading. A few in the crowd wept with sorrow. How nice it was that there are still those who would lament his passing. It's about time to go, Aunt asked with a smile. The art of the, the art's really pretty. 
Why does Aunt smile when she clearly never means it? The girl yawned and looked at the tomb, almost wishing she could swap places with the person resting inside. The coffin closed with a, click, with a firm click, as if a patch of clouds in the gloomy sky had run headlong into the wall. Is it this one? No. No matter how tidy the lush blue tiles were stacked, one could still detect the passage of time. Hmm. <laughs> um... <laughs> this house model looks very, very familiar, <laughs> and it frightens me, so <laughs> I'm getting, like, flashbacks of, an, of a game well forgotten. <laughs> mm. What's wrong? Aunt turned around, mystified. The girl didn't want to go in. Aunt smiled wearily. Leah, she read the girl's, as if she read the board girl's mind. You only have to go in and see what's in there. Don't worry, it belongs to you now. No, why do you think that would bother me? This isn't what you guys say at home. However, the girl kept all those thoughts to herself. Never mind, just wait outside then, Aunt waved as she turned dismissively. The doorknob turned smoothly. So slow. Going in wasn't better than staying out here. She just wanted to go home as soon as possible. Any home would do. And that was your first mistake. Aunt Martha? The air, the very air seemed to freeze. A horizontal layout could just barely be made out through the haze causing the unlit lights in the antechamber. In the silence, it was as if dust would be stirred up by the slightest step, but the odd thing was, there was no dust at all. Weird. Both doors were locked. Why? The electricity must be on. There's a light, a light. Eek! Ah, just a cat. That was frightening. Feline eyes lanced a sharp look out of the gloom, where coal-black fur melted into the shadows. I flipped away in the next second. Don't follow the cat. Ah, it disappeared. Where had it come from? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from? Cut my <laughs> I think I'm funny. I'm really not. The cat had vanished from the corners of her eyes. Weird. Huh? This art is really pretty. <laughs> Don't go in there. It's made of crayon. Last time I was in a world made of crayon, that, uh... It didn't turn out very well. The empty path extended further into the darkness. No, it could not have passed by here, but... Oh, yay, now I'm actually playing. Yeah. Cool. Yay. <laughs> Yay. There was nothing. Empty space all around her. But nothing thing revealed itself. The dead air trummed violently in her ears. Thrummed? There was no way Aunt could be here. A screeching, a screeching noise came from the door behind her. What in the world? Darkness oozed in. How? Oh, that's unsettling. It's terrifying. <laughs> This was the beginning of the nightmare. A patch of purple was eerily bright in the absence of light, as if it had been sugar-coated with icing. Hello? An ear 
piercingly sweet voice sounded as a patch of purple probed out, out from the inky depths. Oh. Smooth locks bleached of color, as if waiting for a painter's palette that would drip down any second now, peered out. The ashen-faced owner turned to greet her. Hi? Yes. Oh, excellent, you understand me. A purplish-white figure pulled itself up as if ascending a long flight of stairs. Damn, look at those boots! What time is it? Is it spring? Long, long sleeves flapped across her vision, but the way the figure moved didn't seem entirely human. Who are you? I remembered the door being locked. If there's nothing else, can you shut the door on your way out? It started moving away with a flourish of its sleeve, accompanied by the clopping sound of a horse's hooves. It seemed bored, but this made her feel a bit uneasy. She yelled defiantly, I, I don't want to leave! This, this is father's old house, so she should be the one to inherit it. The adults had said that before. No matter how unwillingly her expressions have been, they'd indeed said that before. Therefore, she wasn't going to let herself be swept out the door, no matter what. The figure stilled and turned back, despite being far away. Oh? She regretted her words almost immediately, particularly as the figure swiftly closed the distance between them. She realized it's... I can read. I'm 21 years old. <laughs> I'm... I'm a high school graduate, I can read. She realized its expression hadn't changed, as she tilted her head in a long, a long, long way up to meet its gaze. Really? Violetly purple eyes flashed gleefully, as if they had suddenly remembered something. A garish grin abruptly split open on the pale face. Elizabeth... A coyly sweet voice spilled out the girl's name. You've returned. Whoa! The light disappears, disappeared suddenly as if windows, window shutters had snapped shut. And then... The door opened. Her body moved of its own accord, discon disconnected from a mind rolling with confusion. Rolling? Is that rolling? R-O-I-L. Elizabeth sprinted up the steps and passed a dim, dim door frame draped with spider webs, retracing her original path. She couldn't remember why she stepped foot in this in this place, and a growing sense of nause nauseated distaste urged her to leave. Her heart settled when she finally set foot on the lush carpet. As long as the front door is still open, then... Huh? <laughs> it's fucking gone. What? The torch is just gone. There was nothing on the wall. Where's the door? She was trapped by the nothingness that revealed itself in front of her, just like how the cat previously cowered in the corner. This couldn't possibly be happening. What the fuck? What the- Um... What's wrong? Holy fuck. That nauseating voice was starting- to become irritably, irrit irritatingly familiar. Let me out! She cried. Hey, what's that you say? There's no such thing as a front door. She resorted. I just came in from the front door. I didn't see that. You told me to shut the door on you on my way out. I don't remember saying that. The unease that had disappeared resurfaced with a will almost tangible in its strength terror, exhaustion. She didn't want to face this latest turn of events. A strong sense of fatigue stole its way into her mind, and her eyes started to close. What's wrong? Again, uh, this art gorgeous? Uh, Elizabeth? How... Uh, how... How did the being know her name? Her eyes shut firmly before she could ask the question. Indeed.
Indeed, I shall enchant your eyes and your ears instead of shutting yourself away, sad as the worm that gnaws your books. Come, follow me to a new place. Let us go, go then, to learn about life and live the rubbish of philosophy. Berlioz, La Damnation de, Fra de Faust. Words. German words. Elizabeth opened her eyes. Where is this place? The pendulum ticked away mercilessly in the empty air, as if it was the only living thing left in the world. I realize I'm still missing font bits. I have a bunny now. Um, is there any way to say I have a rag doll all of a sudden? Um... Chocolates will increase walking speed. Matches will increase line of sight. Keeping to certain walking speed and sight radius will decrease the chances of danger. The screen blacks out. You will return to your bed. This does not mean you died. And what has already happened does not need to be repeated. Some items can be worn. The cat will give you some clue by reacting to certain to specific items. If the screen is if the screen is too dim, please increase screen brightness. Earphones are recommended for play, as some puzzles are accompanied by music. Text that has already been read will appear in this bookcase. Okay, does this mean I can just exit out anytime? Oh my god, she moves so slow. What even? The reflection of my face in a stern expression. Okay, I just looked at that. Can I have some chocolates? I would very I would very much like to increase my fucking walking speed. It was a piece of chocolate candy. Yay! Eating it will impact more energy and your walking speed will increase. It can be used repeatedly until the maximum limit is reached. You will be unable to pro progress if you cannot walk. That's a good to know. How the fuck can I eat the chocolate? Oh! Cool, I've already eaten some. No firewood. That's great. Let me just explore a little bit. I can't fucking see. This paper and ink. Do you wish to make a record? Okay, here we go. I accidentally said no. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, um... Considering I don't want this to be too long, I think I'm gonna end it right there. Oh, she fell asleep! Okay, so I'm gonna end this first episode right here. Um... So this seems really interesting. Um, I only read a little bit of the game. I know I'm, pre I'm pretty much going into this blind. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.